Today's video is a little trivia I looked into recently and I thought you might enjoy it too. A while ago, someone had told me that Valve ripped off a fan-made skin pack from the internet and used it in Half-Life Source. I don't exactly remember who that was, but their notion was so strange that I just dismissed it. But then I was making another video and realized something was different about Half-Life Source. I just didn't give it much thought before. When using the HD pack in Half-Life Source, the HEV suit looked different. Let's kick it off with some comparisons by loading up the original Half-Life with the normal models. I turned up the FOV severely so we could see all of the view model. As far as the HEV suit goes, the original view model is fairly simple and quite faithful to the character art of Gordon from around that time. Sure, they might look like tubes with hands sticking out of them, but all in all, it mixes very well with the weapon models, the NPC models, and the maps of the game. Now the HD models have been enabled. This HD model pack was made by Gearbox Software around the time Blue Shift came out. While I've already talked about the HD model pack itself, I didn't give much thoughts on the HEV suit arm textures. The Gearbox HD version feels like a proper remake or a professional upscale of the original HEV texture. Again, it matches with the art of Gordon in the suit, and regardless what you feel about the HD weapon models, the HD HEV suit arms look very good. But when you go into Half-Life Source, things become interesting. The LD models is the way I played Half-Life Source originally and did my playthrough of it, ultimately starting this channel. But recently, I went into Half-Life Source, turned on the HD pack, and what I was expecting was to see the Gearbox HD models that we saw previously. But wait a minute, these arms look different, don't they? They look sharper, with high resolution, and they feel like they've been worn out or something. There's like a artistic touch on them. There's scratches and decay on the suit's textures. But what's up with all of this? So, originally, Half-Life Source did not have HD models. You just had the normal, original models instead. Around 2013, Valve updated the game with a few fixes and updates. They fixed some bugs about the flashlight, some sentry guns, the Apache, yada yada yada, and uh, Half-Life 1 HD content pack? Now, this wasn't the HD content pack that Gearbox made all those years ago. This HD content pack was, drumroll please, this mod from 2006. This is High Definition Source re-uploaded to Game Banana by XAN Ukraine on August 25th, 2006, 17 years ago. I'm not sure where the original upload was, but I'm sure that this is a re-upload of the mod. I didn't download this mod yet, but the screenshots in the description seem to imply that it is a major overhaul for Half-Life Source's models and textures that Valve just took and plopped it into the game in 2013. The common question here would be, did Valve really steal this mod to use commercially, or did they ask for permission? Well, I'm not sure. The changelog from 2013 does credit Denisov. Even the Valve developer community website states that they credited him, but there's no information to confirm if they licensed it properly or straight up yoinked it. High Definition Source isn't something that Denisov made from scratch. From what I can tell, it's a spiritual successor or a successor to something called Sourced, a mod from January 13th, 2005, made by the following people. This was later turned into Resourced, and then finally into High Definition Source by Denisov, where it got picked up by Valve in 2013. On the famous website, The Cutting Room Floor, they have an entry where you can see that the signature of Denisov's internet handle, Stone, is in the corner in one of the texture files. From my brief look into the quote-unquote Half-Life Source HD model pack, the major update was that of the HEV suit and the textures of the weapon models. All of them are in really high resolution now. There might be more, but I didn't have the time to look into it in too much detail. For example, here's the original HD pack HECU soldier, and here's the Half-Life Source HD model made by Denisov. I find it hilarious and kind of baffling that a million or a billion dollar company like Valve 
rather than asking its own artists to come up with the HD models, decided to yoink a fan-made V-skin pack from 2006. But then again, Valve has been relying a lot on the community for games like Counter-Strike and TF2, I guess. If you're interested in this topic further, in this fan-made pack, let me know and I'll try to do a detailed comparison between the Gearbox models and this fan-made models. All in all, Half-Life Source is an interesting piece of Valve history. Its underwhelming release pushed a bunch of angry fans to make a good remake of the original Half-Life. It also became a meme in recent years because of how broken it is, and overall, it's just a footnote in many people's Half-Life experience. But honestly, Half-Life Source holds a very special place in my heart. It was the first thing that I played, recorded, and uploaded on this channel, ultimately starting the whole journey into the beta and beyond. And if you didn't know, the original negative reception wasn't that it was a bad port, it's just that fans were expecting something else. Rather than a proper HD version of Half-Life on the Source engine, it was just a one-to-one -one port. The whole reputation it has about being full of bugs came later when Valve updated the Source engine over the years and it kind of broke the game and Valve never bothered to fix it till this day. There is a very good mod called Half-Life Source Fixed that basically does what the title says. It fixes the whole game and the plethora of bugs it has. But yeah, Half-Life Source, it's alright. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of trivia about everyone's favorite Half-Life port. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to these benefactors for supporting the channel. Shepard, Unusual, Interloper CS, T-Boy 301, TTG, Robocop, Noel, Nobody Important, Franco Senlehi, Cheemsboger, Justin Imbergriff, Taiwanesium, Tedasaur, Otakon Nachos, Lamdre, Decoder Mapping, Skyclad, Roadkill, Quiltman, Anose98, Walter, Taylor, Hopgobbies, Noclick, Geode, Fisher Grice, Hawk Assault, Mistress Babon, Jelen, A Normal Street Lamp, TRR Droid, and Bipolet. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.